Coach IT, thanks for joining us. Can you guys hear me okay? We can. Excellent. Uh, Coach, we'll go ahead and start with you with an opening statement. IT, we'll jump to questions to you after that. And then Coach, we'll jump back to you for questions. Okay. Well, I, I think the first thing, and I, I spoke to the team about this, is you got to give a lot of credit to Georgia Tech. Um, they were uh, they were very responsive. Uh, they were very tough. They've been on the field all day, and they created a lot of friction for us in a lot of different ways, which was a, a good thing for us because we had to respond to it. And um, I thought our pitching did. It wasn't always pretty, but uh, – I thought Riley did a nice job of answering what he started at the beginning. Uh, McIlvain did the same thing with him. Murph did as well. And then from an offensive standpoint, you had some kids that they came up with some very good at bats. Bradfield's situation at the beginning of the game, just stealing bases and getting on base and creating some runs that way. But, you know, the big hits at the end certainly – Gonzo's with two strikes and Keegan's with two strikes and, and two outs. And then, of course, Isaiah, um, that was such a big hit in so many different ways. It was two strikes, too. Bases were loaded. Um, you could kind of feel the emotion move different directions and you just kind of leaned on it. And, uh, you know, he had very good bats, tail end part of the game, hit the ball hard. And we held on. And I think uh, that's that's really all that matters is we were able to to get enough more than than they did. We'll go ahead and start with questions for Vanderbilt Jr. Isaiah Thomas. If you have a question for IT, please utilize the raise your hand feature. Robbie, we'll start with you. Uh, hi, Isaiah. Could you um, you know like compare and contrast the feeling of you know having the error that kind of leads to the big inning for them versus obviously having the huge grand slam that that ends up winning the game for you guys yeah it wasn't a good feeling not at all it felt terrible um that's why i, I was so grateful that i was able to make up for it uh you never want to put your team in that situation and uh I, I was just just glad i was able to you know help the team out and uh you know redeem myself from that from that air so it's just a great moment aria Isaiah, what was your approach during that at bat that led? To yeah, I was I wasn't trying to do too much. The bases were full. There's no place to put me. Um, I knew all I had to do was just touch the ball. There's less than two outs, and uh, I was just trying to stay within myself. You know, put a good swing on the ball, get a ball I could hit, and uh, that's what happened. Chris Lee. Yeah, to that, were you looking for a certain pitch or a certain spot? What was your strategy in that bat other than the, what you just went through there? Yeah, pre-two strike, I was definitely looking for a fastball I could drive. Then once I got two strikes, I kind of had to just react to anything. And uh, I got my pitch with two strikes, and I uh, put a good swing on it. Max Hurst. Isaiah, what was it like to play against Jay Hen and Chance twice? Yeah, of course. It was it was pretty cool. You know, those are those are old teammates, those are boys. So it's always neat when you can uh, play those guys again. And um, you know, it's a little bit of rivalry. Um, it just added to it. So it was definitely a great moment. Great time. Chad Bishop, Isaiah, can you just speak to uh, you guys' resiliency here the last few days, taking a few punches and punching back, and and carrying this momentum into next weekend? Yeah, it just uh, speaks to the nature of our team. You know, we never give up. You know, if there's uh, there's innings left. There's there's always a chance for us, and that's kind of how we've how we've rolled all season long. And this is just gonna, you know, roll over to next week and uh, whoever we have to play. We just we just we just never quit, and that's just who we are. We'll go ahead and open up questions for coach. If you have a question for head coach Tim Corbin, please utilize the raise your hand feature. Robbie, we'll start with you. Uh, hey, Jim. Uh, uh, Jason had a game-changing homer there, whatever inning that was. Uh, how good is it to see him get that as a senior, especially when he had been in a slump? I don't think he had gotten a hit since the Kentucky series. You're talking about Jason. I, I kind of lost the, the question at the beginning, Robbie. Jason Gonzalez? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, he was, he's been in a slump, and, and obviously that's a big hit for him. Well, I mean, I... I think like anything else, I mean, slump is a past tense. I mean, that's just something that is behind you. Uh, you you got to continually play this game forward. And 
He, he did, and I was, I was very happy for him. I mean, he fought off some tough two-strike pitches to get to that point, and he, he leaned on that, that fastball and, and drove it out to the deepest part of the ballpark. Uh, it was a big hit for him personally. It was certainly a big hit for our team. Chris Lee? Tim, just talk about what goes through your mind in late inning pitching decisions, because that game was crazy. Nobody was ever out of it. You know that tomorrow might be an option. What's going through your head as you're making pitching decisions? Well, it, it, you, you try to win this game. I mean, I, I know there's a lot of things that could force you to, to move to tomorrow, but they're in the same situation. But when when we were close, it, it just became, and when we, we took the lead, it, it, it just meant that we were gonna we we're gonna throw Luke and Luke did a really good job. I mean, you know, one pinch and Compton just backspung the ball to the opposite side. That's a very strong and powerful kid. He had a great regional, uh, but you know, I thought Luke was was very good. And then after that, it just once once he developed the cramp, then you're just thinking you can finish the game and. At that point right there, it, we just we just couldn't. But you knew because of the nature of the game that we someone had to stop it. And, and you know, Brownie and I talked about Maldonado. Uh, I saw him in the weight room today working out and I went right down to Brownie's office and I said, uh, we can use Maldonado, right? And he said, yeah, for one hitter. Well, there you go. He threw his one hitter and he finished the game. So. Uh, yeah, we just did did what we needed to do. We pieced it together. Are you? What was is in being able to just grind out, you know, such a long game like this one? Well, I mean, it's very emotional for the kids and very emotional for everyone. I mean, there's so many ups and downs to it. But you know what? If you you play a game like that and you play another game like that, you you've been there before, and I think. The thing about being a good baseball team is is going through a lot of different experiences that you haven't faced. And this one was so unique in, in so many different ways. And I'm sure the kids at some point in time thought, OK, this is a little bit like Kentucky. But you know what? Um, the Kentucky game probably helped us here because you, you felt like, OK, this is this one's not over. We're going to have to finish it. And, they, and the kids did. Uh, they did. They, you know, going back to earlier question, they. They counterpunched several times throughout the game. There was what four or five different lead changes. Um, those are tough to play. I think we got time for one more question for Coach Chris Harris. Bring us home. Hey Tim, kind of playing off that, um, I'm just wondering your thoughts on is that a sustainable path to success as we continue on and the stakes get higher, especially on days where you know Kamar or Jack don't pitch. Uh, What's sustainable, Chris? What, what do you mean? Yeah, just uh, doing whatever it takes, you know, despite whatever happens, you know, oh. you know, so withstanding errors, you know, giving up, all of that stuff uh, on, on days. Is that sustainable as the stakes get higher? Well, sure. I mean, I mean, because you have to be, you have to be gritty, you have to be tough, you have to play forward, you have to be responsive. The game's just difficult, and you, you get you get to this point right now. Everyone's good, um, so the, there's you know there's a lot of resistance. There's a lot of resistance by the opponent, and you know you look at that Georgia Tech team, and it, it looked like every single one of them could leave the yard at any time, and they, they probably felt same way about us too. But uh, yeah, that yeah, you you play games like that. You, you, that's a that's another layer of skin that you haven't developed yet and uh, I'm glad you know we want it but but and now that we want it I'm glad we went through it because it will help these boys moving forward coach Isaiah